welcome. Ever get that feeling you're being watched or the sense feeling you're in a place of potential danger? Well, today I'm going to be sharing with you the strange, disturbing discovery Frank found in recent time. Frank, also known as the channel Exploring Abandoned Minds and Unusual Places. Quite a fitting name considering what he stumbles across. This time round though, it was much more creepy. As Frank was in the US exploring the vast environments and desert-like terrain, just like with his previous hikes with the M Cave, he stumbled upon a road with two fences running parallel with each other down it. And as he got closer, he found that there were several dolls tied to the fence. What made it worse was the condition they were in and how they were placed. Let me show you the footage of what Frank stumbled upon. Okay, so walking up this uh, dirt road, there are fences on both sides of the road with all these somewhat mildly disturbing baby dolls. Very, very, very bizarre. This doll seems to be reaching out. That one looks to have a black, like a, a blackened face, like it got burnt. Kind of makes you wonder who might be living here at the end of this road. Pretty crazy and pretty unusual. With the excessive variety of dolls, it is somewhat unnerving to see. Who would do something like that and why? I don't know if we'll ever find out, but when it comes to the dolls specifically, what do we usually associate them with? Childhood, innocence, children growing up, playing with dolls, being creative, learning, maybe even showing some form of care and development as they grow. Yet, we also associate dolls in a much darker way. Like with horror movies where a doll lays lifeless, decayed over time, forgotten about in a dark hallway and as a visitor approaches, although the doll is empty, soulless, dead inside, it gives off so much dark energy, emotion, nightmare fueled. It can strike fear into some people out there. And yet Frank was surrounded by several dolls Imagine what it would have been like at night time. So, what I want to do now is play through the video properly and have a deeper, closer look at the dolls to see if anything odd stands out, if there's anything lurking within the bushes. Who knows? So, right at the beginning, you can see the fence. It's a makeshift one. Is it barbed wire? Not quite, but it does look like wire fencing. So, I don't know who made it, most likely the landowner, a person who lives nearby, possibly. You can see on the left hand side you've got a pink looking doll, damaged and broken, missing one leg. And then at the back you've got a couple more which are slightly out of focus. Now, I can't see anything within the bushes unless you can. Is there any discarded items? Anybody looking through? Any eyes? Doesn't look to be the case. Any cameras? You know, that's an important thing because you never know. Let's just speed the video up a little and see if anything else shows. So what is that on the left hand side? Is that a head? You know, another key thing is, is when playing this video to see if anything moves, dolls have been associated with paranormal stuff. You may be in a museum or some old house. You walk past one of the heads turn. So let me know if you see anything within this. Another key thing to make note of, most of these dolls aren't exactly dressed appropriately. And possibly some of the positions they're in too are questionable. But then again, Depending on what you have seen in other mysteries and other findings, there can be much more deeper reasons and darker ones too. 
Now, as we approach this one, it seems to appear there is a box wrapped around the person's legs. If we zoom in, traditional dress, but what is that black box? The cable is just above. It's got a little button on, a little indentation, as if, if you used to press it, maybe it would activate something. Now within the video, Frank, I believe, does refer to it as uh, some kind of motion sensor or alert alarm, as there are sounds that trigger later on. Could well be the case. I mean, there seems to be a screen on the front or some kind of, you know, something. I don't know if it may be a solar panel or if it's the motion detector. Now, it is quite big in size, but you do get it at times where with dolls, they come with a battery pack of some sort, or in other cases, like a little string or cord, but when you pull it, it will activate a sound as if the doll is talking to you. Could that be the case here? Maybe. If not, most likely some motion detector, but why would they need to do something like that? In addition, what I want to point out, and it's not too much, if you look on this wire as it goes along, there are a few things that seem to hang off it. I don't know if you can make it out, but it actually looks like lights. Can you see? the white bit, and it's got like an LED fitting on the end of it. You got another one there, near her hand. And then I believe there's one here as well. Can you see? Just above the battery pack or whatever it is. And it goes around and it's wrapped. Something makes me think, could it be used as some form of lighting? Whether it be for practical reasons at night time, or maybe to creep people out just a little bit more because when it's dark in an area like that there isn't sufficient lighting no lampposts nothing like that but to have fairy lights if you want to call it that wrapped around the dolls and on the fences as it goes all the way down just imagine the presence the feeling that has if you're just driving down a long dark road and then you just see a trail of lights which guide you to it and once you get there you realize what you're now faced with so that is interesting that, that there are lights present. And I don't know if Frank directly saw that himself, but I reckon at night, possibly. Could this box be related to those lights? Possibility. It's got a little button at the bottom, just like with Christmas decorations. You set the timer, you press the button, and then they'll activate. So it's either to do with the doll or it's to do with the lights. Let's continue playing the video. As you know, I'm just using the timeline filter down here. Let's put it on play properly. So you can see many more on either side. The What's interesting is you look at the ground just behind. You know, it's not, there's not much vegetation in comparison to the other side. So I don't know if it's been farmed, if crops have formed there and have been taken away since, or I don't know, it looks like it's been cleared by something, someone. Now this side of the fence is a little bit more, I don't know, you know, different material has been used. I don't know if that's metal or some kind of steel. It is bent in some areas. And yeah, you got a few dolls heads just hanging. I mean, that is a little odd, is it not? You know, when you, when you see things dismembered, it's not exactly normal. And yeah, you look at that doll that's one of the creepiest ones, to be honest. You can actually see on the scalp of the doll, there are several dots. Now, I'm not sure if that's to do with hair follicles, if they've been attached at some point. But yeah, and I don't want to zoom in too much because uh, I don't know what YouTube can be like at times. But you look at the face, that scar, it looks like a scar, it goes right down, like Chucky, almost. Who would do that? Has it been used by people in the past? 
Did someone purposely damage it to make it look more spooky than what it was? Or was it just aged, wear down over time? And that's what gives it this creepy emotion behind it, basically. If we look in the distance, I don't know where that's located. There are some hills ahead and a few trees and bushes. When we move over to the left hand side, you've got a few mountains in the distance. Who knows what views you could get when present. Let's play the video a little bit more. Okay, so we've got another doll similar to before. Who would do something like this? I don't know. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, all different types of dolls, obviously, as you can see. Shapes, sizes. Let me just run it back a little bit. As you can see, some are dismembered. Some are in odd positions, hanging upside down. When you associate that with, you know, a real person, you, you wouldn't be treating them like that. So, could it be some kind of serial killer? I don't know. You look at the face of that one. You look at the eyes of it. Do, do the eyes move or not? Yeah, it's one of those things, isn't it? Maybe we can have a closer look kind of a time. There are some other makeshift dolls, I believe. You got some kind of like barbed wire. I don't know what the black stuff is, if it's piping, something loose. You do have a few bows, ribbons, tied. That one's got hair. It just goes on. And then you've got that one. I mean, you can't lie, that is definitely a creepy one. Either the Joker, it's got, you know, resemblance, or Voodoo. Look at that. You've got the slits underneath the eye, which tends to be spooky. You've got the Joker-like face paint around the mouth and the slits on the side of the cheek. Could that have been influenced? Maybe. And then that uh, ginger coloured hair. The structure of it does resemble some kind of like voodoo doll. It could well be a mannequin head, possibly, and that's why it's been slotted onto one of the posts of the fence. You can see clearing in the distance. I don't know if that's a building over there or a barn. I'm not sure if it's associated or not. Who knows what could be in it though? Many more dolls. You never know. Let's continue. Yeah, is it meant to be a warning? I mean, when it comes to voodoo, all kinds of dark stuff can arise from that. You got many more dolls in weird positions. Another head, damaged. Maybe worn through weather as well. You got the sunset over that way. Yeah. Looks like a couple did fall on the ground. Now I believe this might be back at the starting position, but what you can see more clearly now is the fairy lights, the Christmas lights on the left hand side and on the right. So yeah, it can be used to illuminate the pathway. It would be interesting to see what it looks like when it's dark. As Frank zooms in on this doll, he does refer to it and say, it looks like the face has been burnt. Now, when you see something like that, it's not normal. I mean, does it look burnt? Possibly. I mean, only the face, but once again, it's just one of those dark traits people can have when it comes to certain actions and behaviour. The hair itself looks in okay condition, so I don't know what they would have used to burn the face. Blowtorch, maybe? Yeah, it says, I think later on, the way the arms are positioned, almost like reaching out. That one does look more burnt. Charred, almost. Yes, motion detector or alarm could well be, or it could be attached to the lights, like a battery pack to activate the lights and the button enables it for it to work. You got those like dwarf dolls. I can't remember what they're called, to be honest. A bit more wire. That one's just completely gone. Looks like it's worn over time. Dismembered. True. 
What do we have here? Do we have any skeleton-like ones? Any voodoo? Doesn't look like it in this area. That one, hmm, maybe that's just worn over time. It does look more traditional, that doll. The clothing, the style of it. Is it porcelain? Maybe. I think some of them are. And yes, that doll. Missing one eye. It looks like I was right about the hair thing earlier on. I said those little dots look like hair follicles or maybe where hair would be attached. And as you can see, there are dots on it. So yeah. Hmm. What's in the distance? I don't know. Is that a railway track? It could be a railway track. If you do know the area, feel free to leave a comment down below. And yeah. As you can see, just on the right hand side, there is the road, right there, and it goes on. I can't see any houses at the moment, but you never know. At this point it says, is that sound in the background an alarm that I activated? We'll listen to that audio in a second. That one's definitely creepy, it's that, that rough texture. I don't know, it's probably free weathering maybe. A few more there. He says, I don't think I want to meet the owner. Yeah, don't blame him. Now, right at the end, one thing that's interesting, I don't know if he went all the way down to the bottom, but you can see on screen. If we zoom in, that looks like a mailbox. I may be wrong, but it looks like one. You the white box, the flap down. Could anything be in it? I don't know. Left hand side, well, no, in the middle, you got another little stick of a head on top. And then it looks like it either goes right, maybe to the house, or is that a dead end? I'm not quite sure, but it definitely goes left over this way, like a dirt road. And just a bit further up, you know, you get past all the dolls, which seems to continue on and on around the bend. And yet you've got these, what was like, what, scarecrows of some sort? Mannequins, homemade ones, some clothing on a stick pole, and then an outline of a face. Are they decorative or could they be target practice, you know, for using guns on? I can't see any damage or like any holes, so maybe it's just decorative, just like all the other dolls. But definitely, definitely very weird. So yeah, that was like an example of what you saw in Frank's video. Slightly more traditional, older doll, porcelain-based material used. Bear in mind, as I'm talking, just keep an eye out for the doll behind me. Let me know if it comes alive, if it decides to move, look up slightly, okay? Keep an eye out. Now, as I continue talking, there are a few more modern dolls within the video of Frank's, uh, you know, plastic based, which is to be expected. Can you possibly date back to when this was all constructed, when it all happened? Mm, I don't know. It's a makeshift fence, so someone's responsible for that at least. Dolls have been placed there, lights as well. Is it all for decorative reasons, aesthetics? Is that how you say the word? I don't know. To make it look visually appealing in a way or creepy looking because they have a dark interest in that sort of stuff or is it done as a warning like frank said we're tying it on with the idea of a warning who is living there and you know what are they like are they dangerous are they armed is it are they with other people is it like some family creepy family or one singular person i don't know I mean, he didn't get too close, I don't blame him. It'd be interesting to see if we know the location. Imagine going on Google Earth, possibly. Google Maps, looking that way. You know, you might be able to see something. You could even go back in time as well to see when things were actually put up. I mean, you know, it's not 3D, okay? But if there's a street view on the main road, possibly. Definitely have to ask Frank about that. We might have a part two coming very soon, okay? Got to nail down on that. It 
it does sound like some kind of ringing. Is it a continuous tone which doesn't change pitch? Um, I mean, it depends at what point you listen to it because it kind of has that ring distortion effect. That might be the distance where it's coming from, the wind that uh, you know carries that sound in waves. You know, it fades in and out, maybe. With it sounding in the distance, at least, could that be at the house of the person that owns the land? Uh, when Frank did walk past one of the dolls, I don't know which one exactly, the one with that black box, the little dot on the bottom of it, or maybe one of the dolls with a missing guy. Could there have been a, a camera or a sensor within? So when you walk past, it triggers, causes an alert, lets the person know who's back at the house, maybe. But then again, it does make you think, if there is a mailbox at that bottom of the road, it makes you think when there's like a delivery posting mail, delivering a big package, surely it would be going off all the time and that wouldn't seem practical, right? I mean, it makes you think, is it off-putting towards some people? Did they have to do a delivery then and they see all the dolls and they're like, oh, I don't think we're gonna bother her. The only other thing to make note of, there were no signs, nothing like warning, keep out, restricted land, private property, none of that, unless it's further on. I'm kind of interested to see what was further on, you know, towards the bottom where those like stick figures were, round that bend, where does it lead to? Who knows? Join me next time as we take a look at a similar example of a different location to try and identify and understand the meaning behind the creepy dolls and the presence of them. Could there be a possible link? Could there be a deeper reason behind it? Well, find out soon when part two arrives.